Okay, that was um, a thing that just happened. Welcome one and all. It is Navigator EX here, and it is my usual weekend thing. Uh, today being, of course, Front Mission 3. And, uh, you minor technical quibbles aside, we're close enough to on time. Ah, shit. Because I'm, managed, I'm measuring those... Uh, Problems in minutes and not like shit. Come on. Oh, this is bad. This is dumb. Yeah, so I forget to set myself online as on again. So whatever. Ugh. Got everything. Got my controller. I've got my mouse. I've got my medicine. By which I mean coffee. Hmm. Ah, uh, weak instant coffee, hooray. Um, so, how about that? Front Mission 3. So, the rundown real quick. I, um, had those problems last week with Marcus's setup. Those problems have been slightly alleviated. I went ahead and switched his legs out so that I could have more room for a better shotgun on his right arm. So hopefully he'll perform better. <clears throat> Previously, on Front Mission 3, Kazuki and the gang went through the Futai Tunnel, and at its end, a bunch of rare-ass robots busting through the walls. But we stole two of those bitches, so it's okay. And after exiting, something something revolutionaries, yada yada, insurrection, blah blah, elevator action on an oil platform. Because why the hell not? Stay tuned for the thrilling conclusion to last week's shit on Front Mission 3. And now that my voice is suitably shredded. <coughs> eh. Sanya Base. Oh boy, Let's see what voice did I do for this guy? I don't see if I remember. Good job. We didn't do it for you. We're leaving now. See you again soon. Yes. And scene, I guess. I... Really? Okay, I can live with that. Bring my laptop a little closer, because that's where my coffee is. That's how I roll. I'm living life on the edge. Okay. Commander's waiting for us. Hurry up. Okay, so looks like we might get some more upgrade time. Makes me really wish I did more grinding before stream. Shit! We're back, Commander. <clears throat> oh, boy. And as mentioned previous stream... Recast! Glad to have you back. I heard you all did quite an amazing job. So you'll help us? Mm, yeah, as promised. Now we just need to find out where Lukov went. Wait, I'm not finished. There's more? I can ask our forces in the DHZ to collect the information you need. But we're not a charity organization. So it has a string attached, huh? That's right. Help us until the information is collected. You want us to become your errand boys? We can always use more skilled soldiers. After all, war never changes. I had to throw that in there, sorry. Alright. Dennis! 
I'll let you know when we get some info. <clears throat> I'll let you know when we get some information. You should go rest. Don't worry, the commander knows a lot of people in Guangzhou. Challenge mode. Okay, so we're back at the uh, DHZ Rebels place, so a little m bit more uh, visual novel goodness. R I, r I suppose... Yeah, I word good now. I suppose Kaz is a little pissed at Dennis for reasons. Because, God forbid, they should have to help anyone. Hmm. So, let's see about that. What do we do now? Are we just going to sit and wait? We'll have to trust Wang. Is he really trustworthy? This stinks. What other options do we have? We can, like, go out into the city. He would want to. Makes sense, though, because, you know, any upgrade's a good upgrade. We can't help Alyssa with the way things are going. Be patient, Kazuki. Aren't you worried? Of course. But... But... She's okay. How do you know this? Just a feeling I have. Are you, like, psychically connected to her? <laughs> Very unscientific thing for you to say. It's Ryogo. Oh, no. He meant Emma. Okay. Really? Yeah, it's not like you at all. I don't feel anything. You're her brother. Trust her. Hmm. So, force powers then. Gotcha. So let's see what Dennis said. What else he's got to say? Rest Wang. All right, this stinks. Gotcha. And Emma. There we go. Fast forwarding a little bit. Okay. So, I guess going out into the city, then. Whew. Damn it, Twitch is showing me his streaming armored core 3. I messed that up. I, ro I really ought to restart the stream and fix that, but whatever. I'll, I'll fix it on YouTube. I'll fix it in the VODs. That's a thing I can do. So let's see, we got a shop. This will probably advance the plot, so let's go shop first. See if there's anything I can afford, because I burned most of my money on buying items so I wouldn't have to restock in the network. Save a little bit of time. We got a shopkeeper here. Oh boy. You a Walion rebel? Re we keep a good inventory. Stop by often. Take a, take a look at the T. Woody Industries website for new, in new product. There. Probably should have had more of that coffee before this stream, but whatever. So let's see. We got upgrades. Yep. Lots of uh, upgrades here. So yeah. I want Emma to get the benefit of this, and I want him to get the benefit because he was struggling last stream, and I do not want that to be a thing going forward. Um, but Emma gets dibs because she's the most fragile. And... Right arm, maybe? Yeah. Because she doesn't need a leg upgrade so bad. I'll save that for him. Body. And... Hopefully that'll keep him in the fight wherever he is, so... That'll have to do. I mean, I could sell some of my stock parts, but... Eh. So, that is the... Shop. Yeah, I'll go in and save. Hmm. 
Oh uh, man, all the all the upgrading and stuff though. That's that's one of my favorite things about mech games and you know, I think I started the stream saying there weren't really enough of them, but obviously that's not an entirely true, but uh, I wasn't aware of enough of them, and now there's a few more indie efforts. Um, seen a couple of them. Oh god, what was the one? Uh, it's like a $5 purchase now. It's, uh, I think, an MMO kind of thing called Perpetuum. Apparently the original hosted servers went down, but the people responsible made them open source, so it's kind of called Open Perpetuum now. Looked interesting, but I need to look up more trailers and more info so that I don't, like... Don't, like, grab a game and it, it turns out to be utter garbage. But at the $5 price point, I mean, it's PC only, sadly, but, you know, $5 price point, it's not the hugest... not the biggest loss. So that's one. All right. Back to the visual novel. Want a drink? Hey, we're still underage. That's just when you're in Japan. Marcus is drunk already. <laughs> What's all the noise? Hey, baby, come drink with us. Yeah, the offer comes with a one night stay at our place. Please stop. Oh god, this is bad. Oh, I already forgot what voice I was doing. Calm down, baby. Stop or I'll scream. Hey, a beautiful woman's being harassed. Time for the hero to jump in. What a piece of crap. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where to begin? Uh, let's see. They'll probably further things, so let's go with a waiter first. Oh dear god, that face. <laughs> Damn it, game throwing me a curveball. Oh boy. The economy is so poor that we haven't to serve loud drunks like them. They drink quietly when the Hualian rebels are here. The Hualian rebels are the last hope of citizens like us. Oh god. I'm sorry about the noise. I'm sure they'll go home soon. Oh god, that was so bad. Whatever. <laughs> Bug it, moving on. <laughs> oh! Damn it, game! They're so loud. I guess they're full of stress. No peace of mind at work or home, I guess. They're just letting off some steam. Let them be. Oh, shut up, 80s portrait guy. Look like you fell out of a Street Fighter knockoff. Let's see. Feisty man! Uh, now there's a low-budget superhero. The military is trying to crush capitalism. Chairman G is establishing a socialist state. Who will profit from a socialist policy? Even a baby can answer that question. Only the Hualian rebels can save this country now. Political, political commentary? Ho! Young people of the nation, gather under the Hualian rebel flag! Oh boy. Hmm. So, who do I want to approach first? Unlucky girl or two drunks? Oh god. Two drunks. Hey, stop it! Uh, who the hell are you? You're interrupting us! Should have gone with Beavis and Butthead voices for him. Damn it! She doesn't like it. You wanna take this outside, huh? Sounds good to me. Jeez, he's huge! So, what's it gonna be? Ah, I'm not feeling well today. I'll take you on in another month. Let's go. Uh, your voice sounds weird. <laughs> Anytime, buddy. Oh, God. So, that was... that was dumb. Okay, unlucky girl. <laughs> that was great. Did you see his face? It was classic. I'll treat you. Oh, you thought I was serious? I'm not rich. But hey, it's a socialist state, so, you know, free boost for everyone. It's going to be a socialist state. 
Do you seek pleasure in terrorizing others? People like you have no right to join the Hualian rebels. It's a good thing these guys aren't trying to do that, per se. Where's the good in helping a girl like that? You're just making enemies. Well, it's none of my business. Oh, uh, things are broken. We always end up the victim. We're in the red again because of the fights. Why can't they drink quietly? Oh my god, that's the worst face. <laughs> it's well drawn. It's, a, it's just wow. Okay. Are you okay? Thank you. That was nothing. Why don't we, okay. Why don't we talk about our future plans? Oh god, what an ass. You're just like them drunks. Um, are you the ones who recently joined the Hualion Rebels? Yeah. I saw you guys once at the headquarters. My name is Ling Chao Hua. Are you also a Hualion Rebel? I don't look like one? Fighting's not for you. I want you to stay home and wait for my return. What a dick. I've been waiting for this for a while, though, you know? It's like he just kind of was off his game for a few episodes. Aren't you also fighting? She's a different story altogether. I just want to do things my own way. Yeah, Emma's a stubborn one, all right. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Um, are you Kazuki? Yes, how do you know? I just heard that you care very much about your sister. Hmm. It's just a rumor. I think that's normal. No, overprotective is more like it. Shut up! I have a younger brother. I understand how Kazuki feels. Is he also with the Hualion Rebels? Yes. I'm going to head back. See you at the headquarters. Okie dokie. So that was a thing that happened. Mm. Against my better judgment, I'll go ahead and leave them. Mm. Double digit funds, though. I really should have gotten some more grinding in. Oh. Put those keybings to the test. Might have to move Emma's kit over to something. Because... Her machine's frailty. Mm. Not a fan. But hey, she's not supposed to be in direct combat very much, so... I don't know, it works. Whew. Uh, one moment. And I suppose I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, so sorry in advance if this just cuts out abruptly, because... You know, still having power issues. Um, antique fuse box and all that. But it's okay, though, because I, I improvised. Nothing that's a fire hazard, I, I, I have to say, but it's still... It's a couple of C-clamps holding on to some cartridge fuses, and the clamps just don't quite hold right, so... Had to fiddle a bit. Okay, let's see. Wang. I didn't expect people like Ling to be in Hualion. Anyone who wishes to fight for the cause can join our ranks. Is Ling's brother also fighting on the front line? He's a good soldier. He'll, he's the lead of our transport squad of this mission. <clears throat> and repeat. And Chang. You know about Ling? Of course not. Go figure. Do you want to be thrown out? Who are you? Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Alrighty. Uh, I should be more prepared. My name is Luo. Baby, you're here to see me. What a piece. <laughs> She's my assistant, and the second in command. Nice to meet you all. She seems more competent than somebody else I know. 
Hey, what are you saying? <laughs> sure he wasn't talking about Ryogo? Hmm. How come you joined the Hualion Rebels? My father is an officer with the DHC Rebel Control Division. Then why didn't you join Hualion? My father is the reason. What do you mean? Our family lived under miserable conditions while he was away. I wanted to get back at him. What happened to your mother? She... died. My father never came back to see her. He only thought of the military. He cut us off. I see. My brother and I survived by helping each other. Hmm. Do you hate your father? I don't know. He's responsible for our deal, but I just want my brother to be happy. I don't want to see him suffer anymore. Ling. Commander, it's from the transport squad. What does it say? They're under attack by the Changli army and Yi Zhang. Huh? Is that true? Maintain communication with them. We just lost them. The transport mission failed. Hmm. Ling, are you okay? The commander of this squad under attack is Ling's brother. What? Better send someone out there fast before it's too late. We'll go! Are you serious? You'd think he'd jump at the opportunity to impress two women at the same time. I mean, seriously, Ryogo. Just, just put it away. Just, just tuck it back for a little bit. You know, get some tape if you want to have to hold it down to your freaking leg. Shouldn't need much. <laughs> I'm going with you. Thanks, that would be great. Whoa. Yes, sir. Please take a look at this. <clears throat> this is the route of the supply convoy to Chongyang. Red line. The mission objective was to get supplies to Chongyang by rail. We got a message. They were under attack at Yuzang. We took all possible precautions to ensure success, but... Therefore, hurry, hurry, Yi Zhang. Pretty sure I flipped pronunciation on that one, but whatever. I'm nursing a cup of coffee just to make sure I stay awake. What's your brother's name? His name is Wo Bin. He'll be okay. Thank you. Dennis, save my squad. You can count on us. As long as I don't get hit by any more surprise portraits like Ling's brother. Damn it. <laughs> Thinking now. Uh suppose I should be taking this practice exercise as broadening my repertoire, but you know. Get hit in the face by a surprise, I'm not exactly uh I'm getting better, I think. Loading! Woo! Hmm. Mech games have so much to do with rails, though. I mean, I hate trains in real life, but, you know... In games, I suppose you get some... some good action out of them. Movies, too. What's this? There was a battle here. There might be survivors. Well, let's find them! It's okay, Kazuki. You don't have to. Ling? You can't give up! He might still be alive! This was his... 
Ugh. This is a World Benz machine. Thing. How could this have happened? He was so full of life. And now he's full of bullets, making him the opposite of full of life. That is how combat works. It's horrible. Hmm. Sorry, I just I just hate lines like that. Hey, dude, there's a survivor over there. Wait, that's not Hualian. It was worth waiting. We'll take care of them too. They were waiting for us. Ling, take cover. We'll take care of this. No, I will fight too. I know how you feel, but you're in no condition to fight. You have to live. You have to live for your brother's sake. Alright, please be careful. Okie dokie, so we've at least got tanks in on this uh, little round. Why does this map feel so familiar? I'm trying to remember who all I had in last stream. I think it was Kaz. Emma is a standby. Ryogo. And I just upgraded Marcus a little bit, but I had him in last stream. So let's go Dennis. mix things up because you know these three they're like they're like my go-to's uh so tanks to probably see what I'm up against I got that guide open in a tab okay scrolling thankfully it's a spoiler free guide tunnel ahead while on headquarters okay so we've got Two attackers, two trucks, and two tanks. The attackers are undoubtedly going to be m melee attackers. They most likely impact, so he's going to need to stay that. Uh, tanks, I think, are piercing. So him, him. Hmm. So she probably needs to be anti-piercing too because she's going to stay ranged. So that's Ka uh, Kazuki as my only anti-impact guy. So that something seems wrong here. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Mm. Put him here, Emma to the back. I think Ryogo would be best suited there, even though this looks mostly forward. Oh. Oh. Alright, so yeah, here we go. Kaz. Yogo. Dennis. And Emma. Okay. Started the map at an odd angle. So, let's see. Ah, here they are. Oh. So we got trucks with dudes. And grenades. Okay, so... I need to keep Emma right the hell back. Kaz is gonna be in trouble this round. Hmm. Oh well, better make the most of it and do it now. But I gotta keep him spread out a little bit. So, Chongdu, and hope that I get a double attack. Well, maybe not. Okay, Ryogo. And he can't quite reach, can he? Ah, shit. Guess I'll take the other guy on. Better to weaken someone than not do anything at all. <clears throat> him. Move him forward and hit the same one as Kaz, so I can lower their numbers, hopefully. Ooh, nice. Good damage. 
and good dodge. And last but not least, ammo. Where how far back can she get? Oh, that far. Huh. So this is just a big death tunnel, gotcha. So she needs to move one space is all. Hooray! The opportunity for multiple attacks! Or not, but you know, I'll I'll deal with it. Ooh, good. So all this, um, ooh, this is probably not good. Oh, they either took nothing or next to nothing, so that's cool. So all this, um, China and China territory action, you know, kind of leads well into one of my notes. Apparently, they've got a freeze on new game approvals over there. They have, they have the whole censorship thing, you know, it's... Mm, not going to get political, but yeah, that's one of the three things that I promised I would never do on stream. So, not getting political, just stating the fact they um, have a freeze on uh, new game approvals, because they have to check them out. Um, apparently their prez uh, Xi Jinping is um, concerned about the eyes of the children or whatever. I believe the statement said something about a brighter future for their kids, but yeah. So, because of this, Steam is getting even bigger over there. Which, you know, more power to them. I'm just sitting here hoping, you know, with those extra China fun bucks, they can actually, you know, make more games. I mean, I guess that's kind of wishful thinking, though, really, because, you know, Valve, they don't make games anymore, come on. They got their crop, they got, like, that card game or whatever they're working on in, uh, Dota. Um, yeah, no counter here. But, you know, whatever. Sadly, I can't say anything about learning Chinese, because, you know, I would have rather learned Japanese and... Still putting that off because I'm lazy. Ah. Oh. Damn. Like, take all of the DACA, bro! Oh, man. Kaz is in the middle of a murder sandwich. So, let's... Lighten this murder load. Oh, wrong uh, thing. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I browse Steam pretty regularly. I don't really buy too much there, but a lot of my humble purchases wind up coming with Steam keys, which right now there's like a humble bundle that has like a bunch of WB games, including some that I want, which is saying something because I really, really, really hate Warner. Um, But yeah, I went ahead and grabbed the bundle, though, because... um. Injustice is in there, Mad Max is in there, they got two of the Arkham games in there, but they're the ones that catch the most shit, so <laughs> take that as you will. Um, let's see, Emma, I probably don't need to have her and uh, Dennis so bunched up, but whatever. Um, Let's spread them out a little bit, as a matter of fact. This is probably going to be... Ooh, bad accuracy. Whatever. Um, 104, 46. Yes, uh, Mad Max, Injustice, um, Arkham Origins and Arkham Knight, which... My PC meets the minimum specs for Arkham Knight. My, my gaming PC, not the one I'm streaming on. Uh Oh, Ryoga's the last last dude here. I gotta just finish this guy off. So let's see what we got. 85. And yeah, I don't need him I need to get him any closer to anyone, because as long as they got grenades out. Yeah, if you wanna 
get some cheap WB games and not, like, give them as much money or give more charity money, then, you know, that's a thing to look into if you, if you catch this on time. I got, like, a week and a half left on that. Ooh. They are really trying with, with those grenades. And Ryogo is just getting jacked up. Hmm. I might have to slow down on the coffee a little bit. I want to make sure I can go to bed. Let's see. Allowsing. Do I really want to waste the bullet on this asshole, though? Nah. Nah. Someone else attacks him, I'll give it a shot. Aha! Oh, welcome back, King Thunder. Ah, uh, moving stuff around. Every time I do that, the first thing that comes to mind is the Tetris theme. Every time. It's always a fun time. <sighs> Let's see. I think I'm going to let these sniper guys go so that I can put more damage in on the uh, vehicles, because I think those are a bit more of a threat. You haven't missed much, though. Um, just some visual novel goodness, and... Marcus, who's not here for this stream, changed his legs out so I could give him a better shotgun, because that was just... that was just sad. Last stream was... that was bad. He was hoping the moving stuff around is the innocuous kind, and not the kind that's like something happened. Like it usually is when, I, when I'm when i moving things, because usually when I move things, it's because I did something stupid, like spilling my coffee onto my laptop. Yeah, this fight's going pretty decent so far, but Ryogo's taken a chunk of damage, and I'm trying to keep everyone spread out a little bit until I can take out those grenade guys. So, let's see. I think Kaz is best suited to take this guy on, because it's... It's the most out of the way for the other units. But I hate to spread the damage around. Oh. The small fry can wait. While I clean this, uh... Ah, floors are placed. Alright. Alright, and let's see, we got him. I'll wait until Ryogo put some bullets into him. Maybe take out those treads so the missile can do more work. Ooh, Yogo, damn! This is not good. Take out the power pole. Oh, great, even better. And let that one lay off for a turn. Okay. Let's see. Can I get a better angle with Dennis? 66, not great. Yeah. The vehicle that's half dead, that's the one that I want to focus most of my fire on. Um, I just wanted to get Kaz started on the other one, since he's nearest to it and most out of the way. It, that one's most out of the way, so get him closer. And the other three can focus this one down. So Emma doesn't really need to get closer, especially those snipers. Uh, yeah. Boom! The hover's got decent skills, okay. I might have to remember that. Especially since I need to get some grinding done. Get some of those skills. Hmm. Okay. Huh? Enemy reinforcements! Be careful, they're not the normal soldiers! Oh god. Chang Li's men are useless. We'll finish the job. Yes, sir! Okay, yes. Yeah. So here's where things get tense. Oh boy, grenades. <laughs> I can take that. Let's see. Whoop! Oh, this guy's about to be in, like, hurt zone. Okay, but how, though, game? <laughs> okay. Uh, don't think it's worth it to block at this point. Nope. 
Okay. Are they all just gonna go after Emma now? Okay. Oh, no, good. Let's see if this Lao Zing can... Yes! Lucky shot. Oh, now we got some of these hover bros. Ooh, 14 accuracy? No, not even gonna try that. Where's my pin? I should have my pin. Let's scratch off that last note. Okay. 83 accuracy with a missile. Hmm. Well, I changed Emma to anti-piercing because I didn't know about this part. I'm gonna give her one block. Keep her in this a little longer. Okay, so... Devil May Cry has come up recently. Got your uh, message about that one there, King Thunder. So yeah, this one I gotta throw out because... I don't even think I have words for this. So yeah, there's some super special editions of Devil May Cry that have been announced. And yeah, when I hear that for any game, I, I just about immediately roll my eyes. So this does not... Ooh. This does not help because... Okay, so apparently these versions of DMC come with... Um, Jackets. They come with. They come with the uh, different jackets for each version. A uh, different one for each of the characters. They're like props or something. Master props, I think, was the deal. So you've got one for the new character V, and his is that weird sleeveless thing. I need to go ahead and take out this grenadier. So the one that comes with V's jacket. I mean, holy shit. Somewhere around 5300 Oh, so you already know about it then. Okay. So V's jacket, $5,300 thereabouts. Nero's jacket, complete with tattered sleeve. The number I saw was 6655 And for Dante's, that number you got right there, 8600 So $9,000 for a jacket. Because at that at that price point, you're not paying for the video game anymore. It's just not even happening. Okay, finish this thing off with Ryogo. I think Dennis needs to fall back to Emma. Um, so yeah, I saw that with the uh, special edition of, edition of those games. I'm like, I looked at those jackets. Those jackets are really really nice looking. I have to say. Not a single one of them looks like five, six plus thousand dollars worth of awesome. The amount of money for the cheapest edition of those, I could get three vehicles with around here. Because there are people who sell vehicles at like the 2000 and less price point around these parts. Usually shit like pickup trucks. And I hate pickup trucks. I mean, just... No, they work, but what what the hell ever. Six or more thousand for a game. Just why? But that's not even the most expensive that I've ever seen for a special edition. I think there was one game... I'm trying to remember, there was like a game that came with a car or something? Uh... I need to look up. I think it's like Saints Row. One of the Saints Row games came with like a ridiculously overpriced package with a bunch of stupid shit to go with it. Uh, but yeah, still though, great job legitimizing this this return to form for the Devil May Cry series and dumping multi thousand dollar props out. I'm like, no. <laughs> Just cut that shit out. <laughs> uh, it's my, like my favorite. This is the line I most remember from Sin City. Was Marv. That's a fine looking coat you're wearing. Except this time I can say that and mean it. God, that's a cool answer. I love the machine designs. I really do. Okay, let's see. Back Kaz up. 
know what? Let's see. Ryogo, let's pull him into combat range. Let's see if I can get a hit in. Okay, well, maybe not. Eeh, damn. We'll get him closer. Give him a chance to gain some of that AP back. Zero? Alright, how about up here? 91, and she's gonna shoot back. Alrighty, enemy skill down. Hooray! And I am not missing. Awesome. Oh? An arm and a leg. It, oh, that's um a bit spicier than needed. Okay, yeah, I'll just uh, leave that skill. Don't really need that one too much, but whatever. See if I can wipe this guy out with Kaz on the retreat. Oh! Can't remember which part that I uh, equipped that allows for that, but hey, works. Let's see, player attacks first. Yeah, I'm not keeping that. No. <laughs> Exit. I might need to change his parts up a little bit. Alright. Let's see. Her, she's damaged. That thing can put out some damage. Let's see if I can take her down a peg. Oh, dude. I need to get Ryogo in on her right now. Um, hmm. She can block a couple hits, just to keep her fresh. But yeah, I mentioned a um, mech game. I mentioned Perpetuum a little while ago. The one that I saw more info on, and was, I think, more disappointed with, Blazing Core. And, um... Yeah, it looked it looked interesting enough. It was a uh, it was in open beta recently and then went to early access. It's a PC title again. It's like, come on guys, bring some more of this goodness to consoles. That's really where I got more of my um not enough met games mentality from. Um But yeah, looked interesting enough until I saw the machines. And yeah, let's see. First off, they looked like mostly kind of a chicken walker design, no arms, just gun turrets with legs, so that's it is what it is, but whatever. Um, the worst part, though, was when I found it the game was multiplayer only and had loot boxes. Well, I'm out. And it's uh, $18 to get into the early access, and I think from the way it's designed, I think there's going to be like a free-to-play version or something, but... Let's see, Ryogo. At that point, though, it's like, why even? Because... I mean, I just don't care anymore. And it says it's going to be customization, whatever, but... Um, yeah, they already lost me with the loot box shenanigan. Uh, I just... I understand it's a way to get get a good stream of revenue for a for a competent developer, but they said in the comments on um, Steam that those loot boxes were going to be machine specific. That's a hard pass. Just absolutely not. Just no. Meanwhile, Perpetuum is open source and has like a large world to explore and costs five bucks. So, good job, guys. You turned someone off to your game with so many dumb mistakes in just the shortest possible time. Not Perpetuum, but Blazing Core. But I'm always willing to give a look to some... Uh,
to some new mech games. I'm trying to think of the words. Drawing a blank. Okay, let's see. Emma, is she even close to in missile range on that dude? She just is. All right. Boom! Take that right arm. I'm keeping your arm, sucker! Oh, this is... this is rough. Okay, surrender, lady. But because you're not getting out of this. I guess because she's like... Oh, boy. Well, he's not blocking anymore. Um... I need to get... I need to get uh, Dennis... Right here, right now. There is no other place I want to be. Let's see if I can take out the... Ooh! Not <laughs> like he was going to miss in the first place, but damn! Left arm! Yes! I'm going to get Kaz in on that action. While I try and get Ryogo closer. Whoosh! Wait a second. Emma can hit. So... Let's do that. Hmm. Oh, she's out of missiles. Fortunately, I remember to restock before starting the stream. Hooray! That's also where some of my money went, because... Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got those items so I didn't have to go into the network. Because that... It's not the longest load time, but anything can do to shave a little bit of time off. Woo, move him forward. Yeah, I don't think she's surrendering, so... Seriously? He really wants Dennis down. Oh, damn. Uh... Huh. What have we got here? Kaz needs to get in on top of that right now. Um, Dennis don't have much need for him. So I can just machine gun and shotgun this guy and hopefully take out that left arm. Damn it, not quite. Alright, Emma. Ugh. Alright, come on, a little closer. Yep, that left arm's good. It's as good as gone. Nice! Put him here and see... I'm gonna wait a second. I'm gonna go ahead and end turn with him. I don't want to put Dennis closer, but if he gets punched, he could lose the arm he's about to get back. And, yeah, make sure I'm getting the right arm on there. Hmm. I kind of don't want to do this. No counter from Kaz. Let's see if I can get Kaz with that uh, tree and or light post in between to reduce his accuracy. And take another pot shot. Okay. Hmm. Well, 70% is better than, you know, double attacking and just shredding this guy right out. Okay. Hmm. I'll just let Emma sit here for a minute. And Dennis. Huh. Almost certainly not going to surrender with her still active. So let's go Emma and take care of that little problem. 
Boom! There was another mech game that was kind of a party game that was a PC title. I need to see if uh, there's a PS4 version, because I want to say there was something I read about that. Damn it. I heard there were good pilots in Walion. You win this time. Okay, so... This guy's sitting here. Oh, do not attack. End and... End turn. Just speed that along. Surrender! Come on. If he doesn't surrender in two more turns, then, you know... Just gonna kill him into this. So here's one. And here's two. Okay, so guess it's not happening then. Okay. Well, since this guy wanted Dennis dead so bad. Well, you got one more turn, then. Ha! <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Dennis it is. Give him the points. Like he really needs them in his rifle, but whatever. I was really hoping to get that dude to surrender, but... Hey! Military intelligence! I haven't done enough on the internet in here. Stage clear! I love that little swoop in that it does, too. That's, that's a great effect. Now that's some dire in music, too. Wow. Then again, this being so... So much of a cost of war mission, you know... Okay, gold a gold medal though. That was a tough fight. Who are they? They were skilled. They want some run of the mill unit. Special forces. Ling. Ling, are you okay? I'm fine. I must be strong at a time like this. Let's go back for now. <laughs> no worries. No worries there. Gotcha. Mm. So let's see. Where are we on this? Go ahead and cycle my saves. Yeah, the Wood or Wood A3's arm battle skill. I should have that open in a tab, the battle skills, because I had it at one point, and, you know, I haven't used it enough. I kind of looked into um, the keybing, though, right before stream, and uh, I think that was about it. Oh, and I just remembered something that I did not buy on the network, and that was some Restore Lows, which Dennis now needs. Ugh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. Oh, I hate this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish that up off stream, though, because um, I have got to go on ahead, throw in some laundry for work. Um, hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go on ahead and call it there. Um, thanks again for stopping by and hearing me ramble about random crap and... Good to see you. Uh, ugh, stammer words. Here's hoping your floors are doing good, though. Here's hoping that that whole effort's doing good. Um, yeah. I've got my usual weekend streams that I'm going to do. Armored Core 3 again on Saturday. Front Mission 3 again on Sunday. I'm pretty sure I want to stream something tomorrow. Yeah, I'm coming up on wanting some repair maxes. So, yeah, as a matter of fact... I'm going to check and see if there's any bigger backpacks. 
Need more souls. So let's see. Because I know we got some new backpacks in shop a couple streams ago. But those were the same capacity. Mark 3. Eh, bummer. Uh, but I'm only using like one or two items per fight, so I could probably give that a try. Either way, though, that's going to be me for this stream. So, like I said, Armored Core 3 on Saturday, Armored Core um, Front Mission 3 on Sunday, and... Yeah, Nomura? Mm. After that link you sent me earlier about... Um, Final Fantasy XV in a nutshell. I have to wonder what the hell Tabat is on. But I think that's going to require a little bit more research on my end. Because I want to see more about that, that train wreck that is FF15. Because I wanted to get that game and the mountain of DLC? <laughs> no. Master Keyblades. Oh, God. It's a franchise I'm not sure I want to get back into. Ah! But like I said, I need to go on ahead and bail. So thanks again for stopping by. Saturday and Sunday at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern. That's my usual schedule. And episodes uploaded to YouTube on Wednesday at 4 p.m. So, because I got to do that. I got to shill that tiny little bit. <laughs> but thanks again for stopping by. And I will... See you when I see you. If I stream anything tomorrow, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. <laughs> Mystery stream. Oh. Take it easy. Hmm.